Many of you have asked me about my opinion on Amazon.com stock, ticker symbol AMZN. This is a stock, I have to admit, I've been wrong on Amazon for a while. I did an analysis on it when it was something like $100 per share or $105 per share. And I saw the stock was overvalued and I always thought Amazon was overvalued. But then I spoke with someone that understood Amazon very, very well. And he explained a lot of things to me I did not understand. And I analyzed it a little bit more. And I have a very different view on Amazon than I had before. I have a different way of analyzing it. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to share all my research here in the video, review the recent earnings and give you my fair valuation model to get a double on Amazon over the next five years. Now, looking at their latest earnings report, it has been absolutely stellar in terms of profitability. But two things I mainly want to uh, focus on. The first one is the advertising services. This is something that I kind of learned how powerful it is. It's up over 26% year on year. It's one of the highest categories. And this is very brilliant from Amazon is that mainly when you go on amazon.com to buy something and you see something that says sponsored ad and the ad just goes in front of the page. And they are very, very expensive, but they are very, very powerful on Amazon. This is an amazing, amazing model. And it has been growing a lot over 26%. And it has been growing pretty much every single quarter. This is extremely powerful that I didn't really understand before, but it's much more powerful than Google ads. It's much more powerful than something on YouTube or something on TikTok. I mean, Amazon ads are extremely powerful and they are not cheap to make them, but they have a lot of effect on a lot of consumer when it comes in front of the page. I mean, this is something amazing. And I just love the advertising model with Amazon. And Amazon is trying to move more in terms of prime video, starting to put ads over there. This is going to be a game changer. It's going to start next year in 2024. But if you want to watch Amazon Prime video, you're going to have to watch it with ads if you don't want to pay the $2.99. So this is something pretty interesting. And Amazon uh, video has a pretty decent market share, over 20 1% market share over Netflix at 20%. This is as of the second quarter in 2023 by Statista.com. Then you have Max, which is now Warner Brothers Discovery uh, combined with Warner Brothers. It's something around you know 15%. Then you have Disney at 13 But Amazon Prime Video is 21%. And then putting ads in Amazon Prime Video is going to be a game changer for the advertising business of Amazon, which is growing around 26%. So it's pretty exciting stuff that I really did not pay attention to uh, before something else that's you know pretty uh, interesting to me is amazon web services it's up over 12 percent the growth is slowing down it's not as profitable as some people might hope for but amazon web services is still king as of q2 of 2023 so market share is still over 32 percent for amazon web services azure which is owned by microsoft is 22 percent google cloud is 11 percent alibaba is struggling to catch up at four percent but amazon web services is still going it's still growing it's not maybe what analysts wanted same thing with google cloud so i see something pretty good over there now in terms of something other than what i've been doing on advertising that's pretty interesting to me is mainly in the pharmacy and amazon clinics kind of services and they are mainly trying to compete with cvs care mart pro program and a lot of the walgreens kind of programs and i believe amazon is pretty much gonna eventually own this market in the future cvs and walgreens they're gonna be closing stores even though i'm bullish on cvs and even though i believe walgreens is undervalued but amazon is eventually gonna have an edge in this whole thing and they are testing something pretty interesting that is some kind of a 60 minute delivery of medications through amazon pharmacy using drones at a college station in texas this is gonna be pretty interesting it's still testing it but they're gonna have free home delivery of prescription medications to 4.8 million people for the blue shields of california members over 4.8 million starting in 2025 now i believe uh, they used to be associated with cvs caremark program and they got out of the program and in 2025 they're gonna start with amazon this is a pretty good development it's a new market for amazon and there's a lot of market share and growth to be taken over there so this is something pretty amazing this is how it looks like you all on the phone with telehealth kind of things and they send prescriptions and, and it's, it's pretty amazing stuff pretty interesting now this is how i'm gonna value amazon in this video 
maybe it's not the best way to value it. I looked at a lot of different estimates, but something that I didn't understand with Amazon was the CapEx cycle. The main reason Amazon was not making much free cash flow, it wasn't making much profits, was because they were spending massive amounts of money on infrastructure and a lot of CapEx investments. And over the long term, over the next five years pretty much, they're going to ease off on CapEx, which is going to massively increase their profitability and their free cash flow generation, free cash flow margins expected to expand a lot. So this is what I really missed with Amazon and I wasn't really kind of studying it as well as I know it now. This is what the analysts are estimating in terms of free cash flow. This is both combined because of the growth and because of Amazon easing off on CapEx after they spent like years and years pretty much, you know, doing the CapEx spending. Now they're easing off a little bit. They're not going to require as much CapEx, which is going to increase free cash flow. Free cash flow is expected to grow from negative 11 billion in 2022 to 103 billion by 2027. And I saw some estimates, I believe from Morgan Stanley, that it could be up to $150 billion by 2027 or 2028. Now, this is not something I'm betting on. I'm betting on the 100 billion, which I looked at a lot of different estimates, and it seems to be something that's uh, pretty fair for Amazon, even though a little bit speculative. Now, if I look at the market cap to free cash flow for Amazon, it's now sitting at 25 times free cash flow. It traded as high as 104 times free cash flow and as low as 18 times free cash flow. So we're pretty close to the lower end than the higher end of the range. Now sitting around 25 times, I'm not going to bet on Amazon trading at 40 or 50 times. I think if we bet on the same exact free cash flow multiple is fair, which is something around 25 times. Now, if we take the 100 billion, and 25 times, this is a two and a half trillion dollar market cap. The current market cap is around 1.4 trillion. So if we take the two and a half trillion and then we divide it by 1.4 trillion, we get something pretty close to 78% on the upside over the next four years by 2027 for Amazon. Maybe 2025, it could be something 80 or 85%. But if I want to double my money over the next five years buying Amazon, I would have to pay no more than $120 per share. I mean, $120, $115, I could get 100% on the upside. If the estimates are right on 100 billion, there's some estimates at 150 billion. I'm not going to bet on it with 100 billion. I would have to buy Amazon around $120 per share or a little bit below. But now I understand Amazon's moat a little bit more. I understand the company's advertising model, which is pretty amazing. Now we're getting into pharmacies and the TAMs are pretty much unlimited. There's some regulatory risk. Certain agencies are trying to break up Amazon. I'm not sure if this is bearish or bullish. Maybe together Amazon can find more synergies but if they are separate maybe the different kind of the businesses could be valued at a higher multiple than they are maybe amazon web services could be valued at a higher multiple than amazon all of it being together so i don't know if this is even gonna succeed i don't know what's gonna happen with that amazon is essentially sold off on this kind of a accusation of being a monopoly so i'm not sure how this is gonna play out but amazon is an amazing company i understand it more right now i would not pay more than 120 to get a double over the next five years so this was my opinion on amazon i hope you enjoyed this video so if you did please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing so i hope to see you in another one